Well, today we're going to take some of those loaf pans we made last week, and we're going to make a pan of bread that Mrs. Doll can set off to rise so she can get it baked. And it looks like she's already baked two loaves of bread today. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, so today we are going to start with our clay mixture. I've mixed this off camera because it took a while to get it blended together and get the right color. What I've got is approximately one part Fimo Sahara, which is just a light beige, and four parts of Sculpey Primo in white. Any white and any clay similar to this color, kind of a tan beige color will work. Just mix them together and kind of tweak the proportions until you get a color that looks not quite white, but not quite beige. So this is going to be our basic bread clay that we're going to use for probably the next couple of weeks to make a couple of different things. This week we're going to concentrate on a couple of varieties of bread that are in our baking pans, going to be designed to be left in our baking pans that we made last week on the channel. So I'm going to take a small piece of this, and this first piece is just going to be some bread dough, maybe Mrs. Dahl is going to make some bread and she's mixed her bread dough, she's got it, it's gone through its first rise and she's made her loaf and she's put it in her loaf pan and she's gonna put it off to the side of the counter to rise. I'm gonna use some white liquid sculp, or white, yeah, white liquid sculpey, yeah, I got it right, a little bit in the bottom. I'm gonna make this a nice, just a nice little snake that's gonna fit in there, is that gonna fit? Yeah, that'll be fine now. And that's, now, it looks like it's started to rise. It's not really done much yet, so. And that's the beauty of this color of clay. You can, what you could do is you could make a whole scene. You could bake a, whatever shape you want your dough to be on a breadboard. You could have a wooden board with some, a baked lump of clay, maybe some white chalk adhered to the board, and you'd have a bread kneading scene. You could take a loaf of this bread and you could put it into a mixing bowl, again, using some liquid clay to attach it, and you'd have bread that's rising at whatever stage of rising you want it to be. Let's make a baked loaf of clay to stay in the bread pan. And for this, we are going to actually find a piece of paper that's yeah, a little bit narrower than my bread pan. And you'll see why here in a minute. I'm going to put this down in. I'm going to really crease those bottom corners. This can be anything. What I want is a way to make my loaf of bread in my pan, lift it out so I can put the chalk on it that I want, and then I'll put it back in the pan to be baked and to be permanently attached but I don't want to get my chalk all over my bread pan. This would also work if you've got a plastic bread pan or something like that that you want to use, or maybe a plastic bowl. You could use the same method for that. Okay, let's see if we can make a loaf of bread that's going to fit in our bowl, in our pan. That looks good. Doesn't matter what it looks like down inside this time because it's not going to, it's going to be glued back in. Next week we'll probably do the same method and make some loaves of bread that are designed to come out of the pan and be maybe sliced and, and worked with outside the pan. So I've got a paper towel here so I don't make a mess on my tray. I've got some artist chalks. I've got the three normal colors we use when we're making baked goods, a yellow ochre, a reddish medium brown and a dark brown. And I've got my cheap eyeshadow brush. It is clean, it's just stained. I've used this one a lot. So we really only need the top done and the ends because it's going to be down inside that pan. Like I said, this one is not designed to come out. In fact, I'm going to use liquid clay and glue it in. So get the top nice and golden yellow, and then take a little of that brown, that reddish brown, 
So I'm going to get a little more yellow on there first. And get that quite as yellowed as I wanted. Now, take that reddish brown. And this is the color you're going to see the most of. This is the color that's going to make it look all golden brown and delicious. The yellow ochre color will kind of shine through, but this is the color that makes it look really baked and nice. And this week we don't have to be careful about making sure we've got it browned correctly for all sides of the bread like we will when we make one that comes out of the pan because this one we are only seeing the top. All right, I'm gonna go that far right now. Put this off to the side, get my loaf pan, put a little bit of this in the bottom again, because we want this to stay put once it's baked, because this is going to be displayed in its pan. And now, we're going to take just a little bit of that dark brown, just a tiny, tiny bit. Let's bring this back over in camera. I'm trying to stay under camera, but I'm trying to keep you guys also down close enough that you can actually see what I'm doing. And that makes it harder to stay under camera because it's not a lot of space. I want a little more red brown on top of that. If you go too heavy with that dark brown, it's going to look like Mrs. Doll burnt the bread. Which, you know, depending on the story you're telling in your dollhouse, that may be exactly what you want to do. All right, I am going to bake these two loaves of bread. If I had a bowl, I'd go ahead and make a loaf, uh, some rising bread in a bowl, but I don't have one currently. So we are just going to do these two loaves today, and when they are baked and cooled, we'll take a look and see what they look like. All right, here's our loaves of bread all finished. Our one that's sit ready for Mrs. Dahl to sit off to rise so that she can bake it, and two loaves fresh out of the oven. I did a second loaf so I could take photos for you guys for the blog post. So I love how these turned out, and it's kind of a shorter video, but I'm trying to get some videos up because I'm going to be busy in September, and I'm going to need to get some videos filmed ahead of time. I'll be talking more about what's going on over on the Facebook group, so if you're over there, you'll know what's going on. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure and hit the like button, leave me a comment. Are there especially bread-related things you'd like to see me do in the next couple of weeks? or any other food videos that you'd like to find for your dollhouse. Let me know what your dolls want to eat, and I'll see if I can make it. If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, I encourage you hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. I thank you very much for watching today, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.